Hello there. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, in this video, we are going to be talking about the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series. But before we get started, you will like this video and you will subscribe to Princess of Fandoms. So, what are my thoughts on the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series? Right now, while I'm filming this, episode 5 is about to come out tonight. So, I'm on episode 4, and what do I think so about it so far? So far, I really like it. Granted, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be, but I'm not disappointed in what they've done. Honestly, um, in my opinion, I would have liked some more references with Star Wars Rebels and with, like, the Jedi, the Fallen Order, the video game. I mean, there were some Easter eggs in there, but, like, I would like to see more. So, um, I don't like the third sister. I'm just going to go ahead and say it out right, right now. Uh, she really bothers me. Um, no offense to, like, the actress herself or, like, the story builders, but, like, she just didn't have a lot of, like, character development. I don't even know who she is. Let me feel some sympathy for her. Granted, the Grand Inquisitor, the only reason I like him and the third brother is because I know them from Star Wars Rebels. Speaking of the Grand Inquisitor, what happened to him? Did he die? Now... Here is the thing. The Grand Inquisitor, that same species of, like, um, humanoid is in Star Wars Rebels. Now, here's the question, though. Is it the same Grand Inquisitor that's in Obi-Wan Kenobi series? Now, the third Swiss sister claims that the Grand Inquisitor is dead. I mean, we did see him stabbed in, I think it was the first, second episode when we saw him get stabbed. So, is he dead or not? Here's my theory. So, that species of humanoid, like, alienish from Star Wars is very, um, is strong with, like, the dark side, really. Like, they, like, a lot of them are cysts and whatnot. So, either it's the same person or it's just a different, um, Grand Inquisitor but the same species. So why would they do that? I don't know because, like, come on. Here's what I think is happening. I think that just like Darth Maul, the Grand Inquisitor is going to live through his rage, and he's going to come back at the end of this series. And that's how I think uh, the Grand Inquisitor will work into being also in Star Wars Rebels, because technically the Kenobi series is before Star Wars Rebels. I think Star Wars Rebels takes place like 15 years afterwards, so it's still some time, but like it's still enough time where like the Grand Inquisitor should not be dead. And considering that the Grand Inquisitor gets killed um, not by the third sister in Star Wars Rebels, um, yeah, so at first it was like, plot hole, but it's okay because I feel like Star Wars knows what they're doing. Okay, so that was my thought on the villains of the Star Wars um, Kenobi series, but can we just talk about Darth Vader? Oh my gosh, when he comes and he throws Obi-Wan Kenobi in the fire, I was losing my mind. I was like, chill, bro, chill, relax, um, but I really liked seeing Darth Vader come back, and I really liked how much he wanted to find Obi-Wan Kenobi and how much he wanted him to suffer the way he had to suffer. I thought that was pretty cool, because, like, I mean, come on. Do you blame the guy? Like, he got his legs chopped off and then thrown into lava. Like, come on. Come on, Darth Vader. But, I mean, like, I like Darth Vader, honestly. I've always liked Darth Vader. Um, I don't know if I like him more than Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I feel like they both have their reasons to be angry. I mean, like, come on. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the villains. The story in general, I kind of like it so far. Granted, I didn't know Princess Leia was going to be in it. So I really like that Princess Leia is in it. I like that we got to see young Luke. And I really like that we get to like understand and know why Princess Leia knew who Obi-Wan was. Because in The New Hope, you know, she's like, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. But like, how do we know that, like, we didn't know like how she knew who Obi-Wan was. And now we know. And it makes a ton of sense. For, like, the movies up ahead. So, like, I really liked how they, like, kind of explained that without explaining it. They explained it without explaining it, which is pretty cool. Um, the fight scenes are absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait to see, like, an actual, like, lightsaber duel between Obi-Wan. I feel like it's going to be the third sister that he has an actual duel with. Uh, one thing I do want to see, like I said, I would like to see more Easter eggs of Star Wars Rebels in the next two episodes. Or maybe even Ahsoka. If Ahsoka reunites with... Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think I'm going to cry. Like, I don't think I understand that I will actually cry. So I don't know if they'll reunite, because technically I don't think they do. Like, canically, I don't think they reunite. But if they do reunite, I'm going to be so happy. And maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I mean, we'll find out. 
But yeah. So those are my thoughts on the new Obi-Wan series plus. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys are enjoying the new series yourself. What are your thoughts on the new series? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more fandom content. Keep it crispy, guys. May the force be with you and have a wonderful day.